Hi everybody. So today's topic is going to be on time taken in hours and minutes. Let's start. Here are our learning objectives for today. First, we are going to learn how to find time taken in hours as well as in minutes. And lastly, we will learn how to find the starting or ending time. Time taken is the time that has passed or that has gone by. It is called duration. It is also the difference between the starting time and the ending time. Now let's jump straight into the first topic where we find the time taken or the duration in hours. Remember, if we're talking about the hours, only the hour hand will move. The time taken from one number to the next number is exactly 60 minutes. So 60 minutes means one hour. So we can draw one hop from one hour to the next hour, and that hop will represent one hour. Now let's have a look at this first example. Here we want to find the duration, or the time taken in hours. We are given the starting time, which points at 3 o'clock, whereas the ending time points at 11 o'clock. When we want to count how many hours have passed, from 3 to 11 o'clock, first step is to look at the hour and draw a small circle. And this hour is pointing at 11, so we can draw a small circle over here. Carry it over and use this clock to answer the question. So from 3 to 11, we use hops. Remember, one hop means one hour. So we start from 3, start hopping. So 3 to 4, there's one hour. Another hour from 4 to 5, 5 to 6. 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, and another last one is from 10 to 11. So altogether, there are 8 hours. Time taken is 8 hours from start 3 o'clock until 11 o'clock. Let's have a look at this second example. We want to find the duration in hours again. So we're given the starting time, which points at 8 o'clock, and the ending time points at 1 o'clock. So start from 8, and we want to reach 1. So carry it over here so we can use this clock to start hopping. Start hopping from 8. 8 to 9 is 1 hour. 9 to 10 is another hour. 10 to 11. 11 to 12. And 12 to 1. So altogether, there are 5 hours. Time taken is 5 hours from 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock. In the next following examples, we're going to talk about how to find the ending time. In this example, we are given the starting time, which is 10 o'clock, and the duration as 2 hours. It takes 2 hours from 10 o'clock to reach the ending time. So we want to find the ending time. By using hops again, let's start from 10. So duration is 2 hours. We need to hop 2 times. 1 and 2. So 2 hops means 2 hours. And we have reached 12 o'clock. That is our ending time. In this second example, we are also given the starting time, but now it's pointing at 7 o'clock, and the duration as 6 hours. We want to find the ending time. If it takes 6 hours from 7 o'clock to reach the ending time, what time will it be? By using hops again, let's start hopping from 7. One hop means one hour, so the duration shows 6 hours means we have to hop 6 times. And after hopping six times, we can see that the clock is now pointing to one o'clock. And that is our ending time. In the next couple of examples, we will learn how to find the starting time. This time, it's going to be different because we need to hop backwards instead. To find the starting time in this example, we are given the duration as 5 hours and the ending time points at 7 o'clock. 
because we're trying to find the starting time, so we need to hop backwards. Just as before, we start hopping from the time given. So we start at 7 and we hop 5 times backwards because we're given 5 hours as the duration. And we can see that after hopping 5 times backwards, we have reached 2 o'clock. And 2 o'clock is our starting time. Now, let's try to find the starting time for this example. We're given the duration as 4 hours and the ending time points at 9 o'clock. So we want to hop backwards because we're trying to find the starting time. So start from 9 and hop backwards 4 times because the duration is 4 hours. So by hopping from 9 4 times, we will reach 5 o'clock. And that is our starting time. We can also check the whole picture. We have the starting time is 5 o'clock. Time taken is 4 hours. So after 5 o'clock, 4 hours later, it will be 9 o'clock. So our answer is correct. Great. We have reached the next topic. Now we will find the time taken in minutes or find out how many minutes have passed. Let's have a look at this clock. How many minutes are there from the number 12 to the number 1? So if you start counting from 12, you can clearly see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minutes altogether. We can represent one hop as 5 minutes when talking about time taken in minutes. Let's have a look at this next one. Say the minute hand moves from 2 to 4. So how many minutes have passed? We start from number 2, write 0 on top, and start hopping. Remember, one hop means 5 minutes have passed. Another hop means there are 5 plus 5 is 10 minutes. So there are 10 minutes from 2 to 4. Remember. Each hop means 5 minutes when talking about time taken in minutes. Let's have a look at this first example and apply what we learned. So we want to find the duration in minutes. We're given the starting time, which points to 4 o'clock, and the ending time points at 4.25. So we want to know how many minutes have passed from the start to the end. So look at the minute hands. This minute hand points at 12, so you can circle that number. This minute hand points at 5. So you can bring over the 5 here, so you can use this clock to answer and start hopping from 12. So from 12 to 5, how many minutes have passed? Start from 12, write 0 on top, and start, skip counting, 5. 0, 5, 10. 15, 20, and 25. So altogether, 25 minutes have passed from the start to the end. Let's try another example. Here, we also want to find the duration or the time taken in minutes. The starting time is given and it points to 525 and the ending time is pointing at 540. So we want to know how many minutes have passed. First step is to look at the minute hands. The minute hand over here is pointing at 5, so circle number 5. And the minute hand here is pointing at 8, so circle number 8. You can bring over the 8 over here and use this clock to help you find the answer. So we want to know how many minutes have passed from 5 to 8. So you can start hopping from 5. So write 0 first and start Keep counting 5, 10, and 15. So from 5 to 8, there are 15 minutes have passed. Now let's move on and try to find the ending time. In this example, we are given the starting time, which points at 6.05 or 6.05, and the duration of 40 minutes. We want to find out what is the ending time after 40 minutes? First step is to have a look at the minute hand. Minute hand over here is pointing at 
1. So we can circle this number 1, and we want to skip count until we reach 40. So start from 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And we have reached our destination. So this will be our ending time. So 40 minutes have passed and the time is now showing 6.45. Let's try another example, shall we? So in this example, we are given the starting time which points at 1.55. We want to know what the ending time is after 5 minutes. So find the ending time. Have a look at the minute hand over here. It is pointing at 11, so you can draw a little circle over it and then start skip counting. So from 11, start skip counting 0, 5, and we have reached 5 minutes. So 5 minutes have passed and the time is now showing 2 o'clock. The ending time will be 2 o'clock. Now, let's talk about finding starting time. The same as when we talked about in hours, finding the starting time in minutes also requires us to hop backward. Okay, let's try this example together. Here, we are not given the starting time, so we have to find the starting time, but we are given the duration of 15 minutes. We are also given the end time, which points at 6.05 or 6.05. If we want to find the starting time, we have to hop backwards. So from here, you look at the minute hand, it is pointing at 1. So we start hopping backwards from 1. So start from writing 0 and skip count 5, 10, and 15. So duration is 15, then we can stop. So when the minute hand is now pointing at 10, it is now showing 550. So we can draw the answer here and write the answer in the box, which is 550. On to our final example for today. So here we have to find the starting time and we're given duration of 45 minutes and the ending time which points at 10 o'clock. Remember, if you want to find the starting time, we have to hop backwards instead. So starting from 12, because the long hand, the minute hand is pointing at 12, let's skip count until we reach 45. So start from here, skip count 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, almost there, 35, 40, and 45. So if we move the minute hand going backwards, 45 minutes backwards, we can see that the clock is now showing 9.15. So the starting time is 9.15. How was it today? Was it easy? Hope you learned something awesome. Take care. Till next time.